Welcome back to Dracon's Plays, The Banner Saga 2. <laughs> Alright, what do you have for us, Hogan? The blonde axeman, one of the two twins from a small village near Skogger, is chopping into a fallen tree for no apparent reason. His swings look dangerous. Hogan, everything okay? <coughs> Ugh, sorry. He glares at you. Where's your brother Mugen? He left with the ravens, wondering if I should have done the same. Why is that? I followed your father a long way, and now? You. And for what? My brother's gone, my wife and children are frightened of everything around them, including me. Tell them this constant fighting is only for a time, but it's changing me. See it in their eyes. My own reflection. I thought I was doing it to protect them. Ah, but they think I'm a monster. What's the point? How is that? It, being defensive isn't great. Not really a fan of that option. This one's not great. I don't know. My wife should have seen as a man who would hold her more than his axe. I think she might leave me. I'm not really sure where'd she go, but that's none of my business. Just tell me this caravan would fall apart without me fighting the shield wall and I'll stay armed. Take care of your family, Hogan. Hogan sighs with relief and nods. Well, I'll still be around. I'll be busy playing with my kids. Thanks a lot. Be safe out there when you're fighting. Plus one clansman. Really? Okay, so I technically lost a fighter. Sure, I guess. Three to one. It's not great, but it's something. All right. Wow, they have a lot available, don't they? All right. Sixty days worth of food. That seems pretty decent. Now, what do we got? All right. Oh, it's two per level. I just realized that. Two move, two strength, resist, three break. That's that same one again. Two break talents. Plus 30% crit chance. One Hmm. Hmm, that one's interesting. Three EX talents, ten dodge strength, one movement. Extra aggro, three armor per rest. Plus one strength. Plus one armor per turn, just guaranteed. Plus two strength, but you lose one movement. That one is interesting. Two strength, regen armor per turn. That's an interesting one. I don't really have anyone that synergizes that well with that in this party. Two break talents. What are the break talents? Um, I want to look at that first. Crit chance. That's really good crit chance. Thirty percent crit chance, man. That's pretty decent. Okay, this is the new item. It's level 7. Protects from death when strength is greater than 1. You lose 3 armor. 35% dodge strength. Alright, 35% chance of just dodging strength attacks. Guaranteed. Like, unkill- Dang! That is a good fit for someone like a lech. That is honestly a super good fit for someone like a Lech.
Oh, I gave her the... Yeah, the dodge was the other one. All right. Willpower. Exertion. Oh, exertion is the, like, lucky shot or dodge chance. That's correct. Oh, I was supposed to look at break skills. Alright. Okay, 10% chance to dodge plus movement. Yeah, that's pretty decent overall. 30. I, that one is interesting, man. Alright. Okay, that goes towards the exertion ones. What is the break talents? That's what I actually wanted to look at. Oh, this is the hunker down in the titan straps. <clears throat> All right, so this goes towards those. Gotcha. Wait, no, that's the armor. Oh, exploit or divert. Avoid armor damage. Chance to cause puncture. Yeah, okay. None of those are really that great then. Alright. Let's see what this is all about. Thank! You glance at Ubin, who snorts and smiles. Skyeth thanking you for helping his friend, Ryoch. Dridio is the other one, but she's not in a talking with a varl and human kind of mood. You're welcome. I'd like you to meet Hakon. Scott does tail swat his flank and he bows his head towards Hakon. Varl, meds, same herd? No, but we're no longer enemies. I haven't seen horseborn in centuries. Last I knew, humans and varls were at each other's throats. What happened to your friend? Ryoch, brave fighter, protect food. Hit many times. Hit? Who is attacking? Skia says many things in his other language. His eyes go wide and he stomps to the ground before pointing west. You look at Ubin. I don't have a clue, but clearly not a friend. Was it the people here in Grunther? Skia looked where Hakon is pointing, he shakes his head and points west again. The royal king eyes Skyath suspiciously. What brings you so far north? Skyath looks confused by the question, so Ubin shows him the map, pointing to Dadaland and Grundar. Food! Our plans! Break. Hakon snorts. Might be justice. Didn't they kill all the horses, Skrydenover? His ancestors did, yes. But blaming folks for things that happened hundreds of years before they were alive? May as well accuse the humans around us of, start of starting the Great Wars. How do you know our language? Skyeth just stares at you. Talk like us. Where did you learn? Heard little trade with mans in mud. I think he means our bog friends, the Kragsmen. Have all of you come north? Many, not all. Not all herds, same. Herds fight herds. Many fights. Sounds like no one likes the horseborn, not even themselves. Ubin gives Hakon a sideways look. Others take food, self to us herd. His hoofs scuff the ground during certain words. Just those two? What about you and the couple? Skyeth, Ryoch, and Dridio stay. The herd help. We help this herd. Thank you. Skyeth nods in a movement that uses most of his upper body. Manvarl, horseborn, same herd. Funny. Ubin chuckles and you smile when Hakon shakes his head and walks away. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. So now we have a third. 
Okay, we have Horseborn. All right, so I know nothing about these. Um, I am going to hazard a guess, though, that Horseborn potentially take two squares. That feels like it might be a thing. Horseborn Kalu. Alright, what is your deal? Um, decent armor break. Decent strength. He comes in at level 5. Decent exertion. Trample. Just looking at that shape, I feel like they're going to be two squares. Horseborn charges forward and tramples an enemy, then attacks from behind. The enemy suffers strength damage during the charge. Is subsequently stuck for one strength per tile the horseman moved before the trample and is left concussed, suffering 20% on his next attack. Huh. Alright. Interesting. Hit and run. Horseman takes his normal movement, then can attack or take another action. Once the action is completed, he can move again up to three spaces. No willpower may be spent on the second move. Okay, interesting. So he gets an... The horseboard gets to hit and then back off. Okay, he has mule kick. He also has hidden run. Also comes in at level 5. And this is Ryoch, the one that was just healed. Alright. Horseman delivers a devastating kick with his powerful horse legs, damaging the target's armor, sending him flying across the battlefield, leaving him stunned where when he lands. Any other units unfortunate enough to be in the path of the flying enemy suffers violent hit as well. Be careful who is in the knockback path. Damn. Two, four, just six knockback, potentially. Alright, interesting the slight differences. An archer? Cantriff. Low stats. Man, low stats. Alright. Poisoned tip. Poison tipped. Horseborn uses a javelin tipped with deadly poison. Oh, javelin, not archer. Duh. Make sure the enemy doesn't forget her after the initial sting of her attack pauses. The ill target becomes unable to secure their own ground and is able to be moved through. Oh? What? That is weird. So you're now able to walk through enemies after the use of this. That one sounds like it has some potential for some interesting strategies. Um, poison like this are often used against high strength enemies to wear them down over time or on a large unit that is blocking paths to other areas of the board. Um, the, these do not stack together, but a second um, dose will serve to refresh the damage over time and keep the target afoot. Okay, so they do not stack. The doses do not stack. Okay. They do not stack, but you're able to reapply. Minus three strength for three rounds. Damn, that sounds good. Free room. While moving, each willpower spends allows her to travel two tiles instead of one. Oh boy. These are interesting units, man. Um, especially her. She has some potential, especially against bosses. Three damage per turn. Yeah, that seems decent. All 
All right. Ah, oh, damn, Hakon's injured. That's right. All right, I have 60 days worth of food, man. All right. I would like to see the map. Oh, oh, the symbol's misleading due to the name of this area. So we are where the dot is right above my cursor right there. All right, where are we headed next, though? All right. Is there anything else I want? Two move, two strength resist, three break. That one's interesting, but not great. Two break talents. The break talents are the exploit. Hmm. That one's interesting, but I'm not really feeling it. Yeah, these are all interesting, but I don't really like them that much, man. All right, let's head out. Now that Rioch had a chance to heal, two of the Horseborn are headed south to deliver some supplies to their people. What crazy ideas in your head, Skirnivir? The world falling apart around us, there may not be another chance to truck down south. The world's breaking, man. I don't expect a human to understand, but a Varl as old as me has more important goals than just staying alive. What about the competition you Varl have for who lives the longest? I always understood the rules to mean you're actually doing something, not holding up somewhere safe. Besides, my guess is Snunur, Snurr, Snurai, didn't make it out of Grofenheim when the Sunder attacked. I might already be the winner. Well, I'll miss your story, Zubin. With any luck, I'll have more than we'll meet when we meet again, little one. You taking your higher muscle with you? Ah, I feel better if Gunnolf stays with all of you. That blade of his is sure to attract the wrong kind of attention. Okay, we get to keep Gunnolf. Wrong attention might find you anyway. Then who will protect you? I'm old, not an idiot. I've learned a few tricks to keep my head on my shoulders. The young Varl shrugs and walks off to find some food. And be safe, Ubin. Join us again if you can. You know where we're going. Don't worry about me. Just make sure you're alive to see this thing through to Abarang. Farewell. Skrindover says a few more goodbyes before departing with the Horseborn. The governor catches up to you and asks you for a moment of your time. His bodyguard is beside him, silent. Of course he is. It's not getting any easier, is it? Probably won't get any easier until we get to Abarang. Quit fooling yourself, girl. The capital is going to be a different battlefield, but a battlefield nonetheless. I actually do agree with him on that part. I don't really want to antagonize him. That's a reaction. If you wait for people to attack before acting, you'll wind up with a blade in your gut. That's enough, man. Fine. I'll keep a lookout for anyone acting strange while you keep pretending you're everyone's friend. His shoulders slump and it looks like he regrets what he said. Get us across this wasteland. 
Try not picking up any more strays, will you? Sneers in the direction of the horse form before leaving you. Idiot. Our party's pretty small, though. Morale declined. A few of the weavers have been smiling more than usual lately. Now you know why. A Leo leads children out from behind a cart in new costumes. Some have horns on headbands, while one red-headed girl wears a green cloak like yours. A boy wearing a red cloak is carrying an axe. Rook. The entire caravan gathers around to watch the performance. The young actors stand behind a short wall and discuss an approaching dredge army. As a black cloth rolls across the ground in front of the actors, a young man in red armor stands up and shouts, Bellower. This is a reenactment of the Battle of Beauregard. Continue watching. A dark-haired girl holds a spear. We'll get no help from the governor. We're on our own. A few people in the crowd laugh while Rugga stares at the skullet. <laughs> yeah, Rugga wouldn't like that, would he? The young Rook and Alette and Varl run towards the fierce bellower, attacking and being repelled. Finally, the girl dressed up as Yuno hands Rook a silver arrow. Rook hugs Alette and shoots the arrow. Bellower roars. Stan, watch that. Bellower grabs Rook by the throat and growls. She sends heads in the crowd turning towards you when a Leo and a Weaver suddenly snap the caravan's banner in front of the scene like a curtain. As the banner lowers, the young version of you cradles the boy dressed as your father. The other actors stand in a semicircle around you and begin singing a familiar tune. The crowd joins in, and an impromptu line forms for everyone walking by to lay a hand on your shoulder. Oh man. <sighs> Morale improved. Ten renown. Oh, that one. Touch me. Man. A group of two dozen humans, thin and dirty, step off the rough path to let the caravan pass. Please, a young girl says. Anything to eat? Her mother's eyes averted, pulls the girl by the arm to silence her. What's going on? Homes were burned, a man says, coughing. Cowards didn't even show a banner. Now we're just trying to get somewhere safe to start over. Come on. Worry glances are exchanged among the group until a man says, Better than us starving out here on our own. They'll tend to agree and thank you for joining the rear of the caravan. Yay, clansmen. Rad. I was short of clansmen. Hey, foraged. Hey! <laughs> Gain four, immediately lose four. Sure. Ahead, the caravan comes to an immediate halt. That's the second thon shoe this bloody beast has thrown in a day, the ox tender curses. It will take some time to see to the ox, so you call for camp. While most of the clansmen sleep or lose themselves in drink, Juno requests a moment to speak with you alone. I'm impressed so far, Alette. Manage to keep your composure through tough situations. Thank you. Not to paint you with further comparison, but you remind me of your father at the Godstone, um of Stravis. Determined. What actually happened there? Your father faced down his fears, walked through thousands of dredge to obtain the only weapon that could bring down Bellower. That's incredible. And frightening. I don't know if I could do something like that. The Balka gives you a maternal smile. Neither did he. Juno wakes patiently for your supply. Yeah, I'm not going with that middle option. I would like to find out more about what's going on with her. At times I think this is all my fault. But others? Not sure I could have stopped it. She sees your wide-eyed expression and attempts to clarify. How I became 
involved is confusing at best, but you and I share something in common. We're both learning what we have to do as we go, but only the future will tell if my role is villain or hero. She waits patiently for your reply. Tell me his death meant something. I can't do that. Rook's death was unfortunate, but his life, his life was very important. People he brought from Skoger, including you, and all the others along the way are being forged into what future the future will require. Previ the previous era of peace is over. The one of survival has begun. Aberang may be the best shelter for the coming storm. But the people there are soft, too dependent on a society that will no longer exist. Because of the dredge? Partially, but mostly because of the coming darkness that is pushing the dredge. We keep talking about the darkness, but we haven't seen it. We've seen the signs of its coming. Dredge in numbers, the land breaking apart. It's a force unlike any other. Wish I could say more. But even the Mender Council is ignorant in this. Thank you, I should get back to the others. Before you go, there's one thing I must address with you. The Serpent. The chasm at Orsodara. And the tremors in the ground concern me a great deal. Yeah, me too. Should that incredible creature ever surface, do not attempt to stop it. It would take power unseen in ages to affect the Serpent. If you see it, run. Her words chill you as you find yourself nodding to her command. Alright. Where are we on the map? I'm not sure if we're angling back up towards the road here, or if we're going to end up going to Lundar. I think we might be angling up towards the road. From there, um, yeah, we'll probably meet back up to the road. Somewhere around this mark, we'll be forced to either head south or north, would be my guess. South is a longer journey um, between towns, but we reach a major one. And then reach Aberang. Northern Road passes by two towns from the looks of it. Shorter distance in between, but longer overall. I'm betting we're going to end up coming across something like that. Anything new in training? Alright, nothing else for now. All right. All right. No items equipped, which is good because I don't want to risk losing anything. I have 59 renown. Actually. I feel like we should rest for a little bit. Alright, that seems decent. Okay. Man. Alright. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Next time, we're going to continue along the road to Abarang. Um, and I'm very curious where that road's going to lead. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up here. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!